We are back with the new pet showcase. We've got the newest pet in the game here with the Hurricane. And this pet came with the new Nimbari Horde Pack. I was lucky enough to even get this pet because I got the perm mount before I got this one. And basically, I kept opening packs in order to get him. So here is the Hurricane. New dog kind of pet. Look how fluffy he is, though. I don't even think I realized that the first time I saw him, but he's actually a big pet. He's he's a he's a fluffy dog. So that is uh, what he looks like there. When he's not panting, he will do. Oh, there you go. He acts all tough and back to normal. Wags his tail too. He actually does it a lot. His little uh, idle animation. But this is the jump. I kind of like the the running. Is like. I don't know, kind of like the little shuffle that dogs do. Oh, he even looks to the side. Did you see that? What was he looking at? Oh, it's like he sees something and he looks over, kind of. And his tongue still sticks out. <laughs> so, this is the new pet. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people want this one just because the cuter the pet, the more people will want it. And this pet's pretty cute. I mean, come on, it's a dog pet. So, he also got, like, little armor. For like the Nimbari, like kind of themed around that. I could totally see this pet being a mount. Like it almost looks like a mini mount right here, just like how the pet is, because it's kind of a bigger pet. But I could see it as a mount. I don't know. Maybe he's got like an older brother that is like a way bigger kind of dog, and we can get that as a mount someday. Don't know. But this is what he looks like. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the talents. So. He's Storm, obviously. He, just, he looks Storm. And people also like the pets that kind of look like what school they would be. You know, this pet obviously looks like Storm. He's got like a amulet that has a Storm lightning bolt on it. So, makes sense. It's really themed around that. And I probably wouldn't put talents on this and use it as my Storm pet. Because I'm okay with my Storm pets for now. I know I have like a Gulcher, but he actually gives a decent card. He gives the Galvanic Field. Aura for Storm, so that's good. Storm Pet gives a good Storm card. So here are the talents. We've got Storm Elemental, just gives the card. Defender, Mana Gift, Life Sniper, Ice Assailant, Myth Ward, Storm Dealer, Refreshed, Tireless, and the last Ultra Rare is the only one that's unknown. So the list there is kind of weird. The only like Storm themed ones is I guess Storm Elemental, the card and storm dealer and that's pretty much it like that's all the storm talents so you're really gonna want to get some talents some better talents on this pet and start hashing it out because as a first gen this pet is probably not gonna be that good like just looking at that i can tell it's not gonna be the best but we'll see what we get maybe we'll get the new one i don't know but this is the only one that's unknown and uh here's the uh the stats on the pet too so let's go ahead and change to adult see what we get and i'll be right back Okay, here is the last game until we get to adult. I actually haven't seen him do his like dance yet because I've been skipping it. What's your dance? You're gonna get dizzy from doing that, from chasing your tail, and then here's the here's where he's sad. Even though he doesn't look that sad. He just looks like he's kinda like unsure. <laughs> so he chases his tail as the dance. Alright, I like it. And then sad is him just looking down and <laughs> being confused or something he's unsure i'm not even paying attention to this okay let's try to get the wait no i already failed never mind we already got through wrong i was like i'm gonna try to actually try the last one but didn't happen uh let's give him yellow corn defender okay so that is the dance of the pet and we also thought it looks like when he's sad we've got uh defender and life sniper as the two talents uh at adult so Obviously, this pet is not the best first gen. I highly recommend if you actually want this pet just to hatch for it because first gen doesn't matter. Don't buy the pack trying to get this one because it's not the best anyway. And I'm hoping that people would be willing just to hatch out for it because um, it probably is a pet that people would like just in general. But we're going to go cast Galvanic. And there's also one extra thing I want to show from this pet. So let's go do that and then we'll finish this off. Okay, one other thing I want to show from this pet, and I don't normally do this, is the underwater animation. I guess we'll also be able to see the underwater animation of 
the mount, which I don't even think is that different, is it? I mean, isn't that the same thing? It's like the sound's a little more muffled. Kind of. I don't even know if it is. But yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. I don't think there's any difference there. But whatever. We're going to go and look at the, the pet. Because the pet underwater is way better <laughs> than the mount underwater. So this is what the pet looks like. <laughs> he just floats there. And uh, he kind of sways back and forth too. I don't know. The pet underwater looks better than, than him, you know, <laughs> just on like normal, the normal ground. Like the normal animation. Look at that. I don't know. I saw that earlier and I was like, you know what? I have to show that in a video because he looks really cute. It's like swaying back and forth. So that is the underwater animation for the uh, the pet. Let's go ahead and fight a, I don't know, haunted minion or something. And then uh, we'll wrap up this video. So I need some wand hits. Not blessing. I don't have any wand hits. We need to equip a wand that I can actually hit with. Like the arrow cannon. And we'll do that. All right, cool. So let's go and cast his aura. If we can find it. I have other cards. Pass. Yeah, just pass on and minion. Come on. Nothing exciting happening. Here we go. Aura time. I need an aura and then I'm going to wand hit because we need extra boost. Even though it's not even storm. This wand doesn't even hit storm. There you go. He chases his tail. I guess we get a look at the arrow cannon wand hit. But yeah, that's going to do it for this pet. I'm sure that people want this pet. Just for the looks of it. Because I think it looks really cool. It's a unique pet. And hopefully people are willing just to hatch for it. There we go. But yeah, definitely not worth going for this pet. Just from the pack just so you can have it um so definitely try to hatch for it if you can but that is gonna do it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on the new hurricane pet if you liked it make sure to leave a like on it uh, on your way out subscribe for more wizard videos in the future i'll see you all next time